Welcome back to the video store. Um, it's me in the new year. I said I was going to review four Christmases next, so that's what I'm going to do. I uh, watched this the day after Christmas this year. Usually I watch it on Christmas or the day before, but with Corona, Christmas and all that didn't go as planned this year as it normally does. <sighs> anyway, I did finally get around to watching it. I watched the other movie I watch every Christmas in November sometime or before, which is The Family Stone. For some reason, we always watch those two movies every Christmas. So, yeah, Four Christmases, Vince Vaughn, um, Reese Witherspoon, Robert Duvall, Sissy Spacek, whole bunch of people. Uh, John Voight shows up in it, Kristen Chenoweth. Um, just a very, very, very funny movie to me. Vince Vaughn is one of the best in comedy movies. Just pretty much how he delivers things makes everything he says funny. Almost just that quick spitfire way he has of throwing things out there. I think um, Wedding Crashers is probably one of the best comedies that come out in the past 20 years. Just, just a, com a comic powerhouse. I've never seen Vince Vaughn give a bad comic performance and I've never seen him give a bad drama performance. Like he's played in like Clay Pigeons where he was a killer. He's played in Domestic Disturbance where he was like the uh, abusive stepdad to John Travolta's kid that ended up killing somebody. And then recently he came out in one I reviewed called Arkansas where he was like a drug dealer. But, you know, all good movies. He's always good in them. Even his little part in Jurassic Park Lost World, which is a horrible movie, his part did great. So Four Christmases, basically, him and Reese Witherspoon are dating. <clears throat> and during Christmas, they lie to their family and say they're going to do charity work when they're really going to like a beach for vacation. But this year, the flights get canceled and the news interviews them. So now their families know that they didn't get their flight. So now they have to go visit their divorced parents. So hence the four Christmases, mom's house, dad's house, mom's house, dad's house. And of course, with each house, there is, you know, dealing with the craziness of family and taken to the extreme. Um, I'm not going to give nothing away about what happens at these houses, but I think all of them, but John Voight's is hilarious. Um, just, oh, Dwight Yoakam plays a character in it too. He comes in, but yeah, just hilarious from start to finish. Um, great physical comedy, great comic dialogue situations. There's jokes that happen that if you looked away, you'd miss it. That is just hilarious. Uh, John Favreau and the girl from Mike and Molly that plays his wife, the one that plays Molly's sister on Mike and Molly. Hilarious. Um, but this is one of those where, even though you watch it, like I watch it every year, you'll see little things that happen that you might have looked away and missed, and it's just hilarious. But uh, I highly recommend it. It's definitely, for me, it's the funniest Christmas movie even over Christmas vacation. I just really laugh hard at this movie. So highly recommend it. Five stars. Um, Vince Vaughn alone is a reason to watch it. So yeah, give it a look, check it out. Um, I mean, it's January, but still, I mean, you know, just pretend they're visiting their family for new year's. Ha, there you go. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, uh, I just watched the Godfather trilogy this week, so I'll probably uh, review one of those once a week. So I'll be back and review those. And um, anyway, don't forget to comment and uh, like and share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.